Donna here and welcome to my channel Everyday Homemade. Everyday Homemade is designed to teach you the basics of cooking all the while making something delicious and homemade for your family. Today I'm going to be making a classic bourbon chicken with real bourbon and soy sauce and a little bit of brown sugar. We're going to add some broccoli to it and top it off with some scallions. It's really a big hit at my house. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is get our miso floss ready to roll. So I have some broccoli here that we're going to chop off. And I'm just going to go around like the edge of the broccoli. So if I cut into it here and I just kind of follow around the crown, it'll just take off the florets and that's exactly what I want. Just like that. If you have never used fresh ginger, I suggest you give it a try. It has a really nice flavor. It just adds so much to the dish versus the powdered substitute that you can use. So basically you want to peel off the skin, but it's not absolutely necessary to get it all off. I mean, it is edible and it's like paper thin, so it's not going to be super chewy or anything. So I just kind of cut around the sides. I'll wash it. Then I cut around the sides and then I'm going to chop it up in this little mini food processor. This little food chopper that I have is part of my Braun uh, immersion blender stick here. I love this thing. I use it almost every day in my personal chef business. And this little chopper has come in so handy. I'll use it for ginger. I'll use it for shallots or you know whatever small little thing I have I just want to chop up real quick it is super versatile and handy to have has come up to boil and I just have a steamer basket in here and I'm going to go ahead and add the broccoli so I just want to steam the broccoli first and keep it separate if I cook it in with the sauce it tends to and the chicken it tends to overcook so I prefer to do it on the side and then just add it in at the last minute so it stays nice and bright green as I'm waiting on the broccoli to steam I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting up the chicken these are chicken thighs, but I want to cut them into like bite-sized pieces. And as you see, I changed over to one of my flexible boards. I use these for all of my proteins. I don't cut any raw meats on my actual cutting board. I always use these little plastic ones, even in my business as a personal chef. So I'm going to get all this cut up and then we're going to check on the broccoli. check on the tenderness. It will cook pretty quickly this way. So I just use a fork. I'm trying without burning myself. 
I just stick it into the broccoli to see if it's tender and does the fork actually go into it. And it does. I don't want it to be completely soft. I want it to stay nice and kind of bright green like it is right here. My pan has come up to heat so it's nice and warm. So I'm going to add some sesame oil. And because sesame oil is really strong in flavor, I'm going to also add a little bit of vegetable oil. And we're going to get our, you see how hot the pan is, we're going to get our chicken starting to sear. I'm going to sear it in batches. You never want to throw that whole bowl into a pot. It won't end up searing. The only thing it's going to do is boil in its own juices. So this won't take long at all. You can see it's already getting brown on one side. The chicken doesn't have to cook all the way through because we're going to add the sauce and it's going to cook more than that. But I always like to get a little color on it while we're cooking. It just adds to more flavor to the dish in general when you have a little color on your food. bit of the chicken is cooking up, I want to put together my sauce. So I have brown sugar, bourbon, the good stuff. I also have soy sauce, but I'm actually using a coconut amino today as a replacement for the soy sauce. It's very popular today and I kind of really like it better than a traditional soy sauce. You know, soy sauce is a lot, is really salty to me, so I don't particularly care for that, but that's a personal so that was also a little bit of um, rice vinegar. So I'm going to go ahead and just give this a good whisk. And we're going to add it right into our chicken. I'm going to return this chicken in. And then we're going to pour the sauce in. So here's our sauce. Just added in the ginger and the garlic. So that's going to simmer up while our sauce reduces down. Now, as always, I want to scrape up the little bits of chicken that are stuck to the bottom of the pan. This all adds flavor to our sauce. I'm just going to let the sauce simmer for a few minutes just till it reduces down. It'll finish cooking up the chicken pieces and it'll thicken up to a nice sauce. And then we will add the broccoli back in. So I had a little bit of ginger left over from when we grated up the ginger root in the little mini food processor. But I don't want to waste it. I only need a teaspoon for this dish. So I'm going to put it in this little cup and I'm going to pop it right into the freezer and then when I need some it will be all grated up and ready for my next dish. The sauce has reduced. It looks like it's a nice consistency. I'm going to go ahead and add the broccoli and stir that right in. So let's go ahead and give it a taste and see what we think. The broccoli, because we steamed it ahead of time and just add the last minute, it stays nice and green. And that's really what you want. You want it to be pretty on the plate. You know, there's always a presentation is important. So let's see. Mm -hmm. It's really good. You can taste the ginger from the fresh ginger we put in. I'm going to try a piece of broccoli. Mm -hmm. The broccoli still has a little bit of bite to it, so it's not completely overcooked and mushed down, which is exactly what you want. And such a key when you steam it ahead of time and then add it the last minute. So today I showed you how to make a bourbon chicken, and it was super quick and easy. I mean, it would just be perfect for a weeknight meal. And because we're cooking the bourbon, you actually cook all the alcohol out of it. So there is no alcohol content in your food. I also showed you a little quick tip about how to take the florets off the broccoli head really easy. 
So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Leave me a comment or turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Until next time, I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye everyone.